When working on a long markdown document, sometimes you might want to create a link that jumps to a specific section of that document. This can be useful when writing documentation, for instance, and you might even use it in a readme. While there's no completely standard way to do this in Markdown, there is a pretty common convention that will work on places like GitHub that we can use. And you can probably find a plugin that will enable something similar for your Markdown engine as well. Let's take a look at how we can do this. To demonstrate, let's say that we wanted to create a table of contents at the top of our Markdown file with links that will jump down to the corresponding section. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate will actually let you create links to any header section in the current Markdown file. So any of these headers will be able to create a link to that. And also just keep in mind that what I'm demonstrating here might not work across every single Markdown engine. So you might have to make a few tweaks or install some additional options or plugins for your Markdown engine to get this working. First, let's take a look at the simplest case. So for the first header here, so we're going to go into the first item in the table of contents. We're just going to start by creating a normal Markdown link. So we'll go and add the square brackets around the link text and then create parens to go and specify the link destination. Now to create a link that goes within the current file rather than jumping to an external website or external resource, we're going to use the HTML fragment syntax. So that starts with the hash sign, and then we need to specify somewhere to jump to in the current file. Now the possible locations that we can jump to, again, are going to be these header sections. And behind the scenes, each of these headers is going to have a unique ID. The ID is generated from the header text itself, but we do need to transform it into a normalized form. During that normalization, we basically just lowercase the ID and then also replace any special characters in it. So in this instance, the ID of this header section would just be the text section, but in lowercase. So I can just say section here. And now we've created a link that will jump to the section down here. Over here in the Markdown preview, we can actually go and test this just by clicking on the section uh, link there. And you can see it jump down to reveal the section as we'd expect. Just to review what we're doing, we're using the normal Markdown link syntax again to define a link. And then as the link destination, we're using the HTML fragment syntax, so a hash sign to start the link, which is saying we're going to jump to somewhere in the current document. And then we're giving the ID of the header itself, which is generated by taking the header text, doing a few transforms, which in this case, we're just transforming it to lowercase. Things get a little bit more complicated if we want to link to a header like this one that contains a space or other special characters. So let's take a look at doing that. We're going to start with the same approach. So we're going to just go and create a normal markdown link create the hash sign, which indicates that we're linking to a section in the current file. And now in addition to lower casing the section text, we need to go and replace any space characters with a dash. So in this case, we'd have a single dash as our ID. So let's do this, we'd say, again, lowercase sub and then dash replacing that space character in the header text, and then we'll say section. And now we've created a link that if we actually go into our rendered markdown, when we click on it, we'll jump down to reveal subsection. As a final demonstration, let's take a look at creating a link to a header that has special characters in the header text. So here we're using a dollar sign, which will end up having different behavior than normal uh, digits or letters would in a Markdown header. This is really where you'll find quite a bit of variation between different Markdown engines. So GitHub might do one thing, and then your other Markdown engines will do something completely different. So you do need to try to look up what your, your Markdown engine is going to do. Um, and what I'm going to demonstrate can't be relied on as the standard behavior. Again, we're going to just create a normal markdown link here, and then we're going to add the hash to start a uh, local link. And now for the ID, we're going to perform three different steps. First, we're going to lowercase the text that's in the header, which we've done in the previous step. We're also going to replace the spaces with a dash, and then we're actually just gonna strip out all of these special characters here. So we're just gonna completely omit the dollar sign to generate the ID here. So we'll just say ub section with a dash replacing the space. And if we go over to the markdown preview, you can see that we are now correctly linking to the final section, which contained that dollar sign in the name. If your Markdown engine does support these type of links, but you're having trouble figuring out the ID, it helps to understand a little bit about what's happening behind the scenes. So uh, basically what will be happening is that when your Markdown engine renders the document, it will generate HTML ID attributes on each of the header sections down here. And that's what we're actually using up here. So if you're ever wanting to figure out what the ID is for a section, like let's say you had special characters and the link is just not working, you can always go and inspect the rendered HTML, figure out what the ID attribute is on that the um, element that you want to link to, and then use that same ID up here. And in most cases, that should be enough to get it working. Some Markdown engines also offer more advanced features where you can explicitly specify an ID for one of the header sections here, for instance. But this is kind of the most commonly supported syntax that works across many different Markdown engines. Not all of them, and again, there might be some variations, but this is the most widely supported subset in my opinion. So that's a look at how you can create links that jump to different sections of your Markdown document. 
This can be incredibly helpful when working on documentation or long markdown files.